A tense hours long standoff with authorities comes to a close after a fugitive is found hiding in a restaurant ceiling. This happened overnight and into this morning, just blocks from the United Center. Our Suzanne Lemignot joins us live on the west side to tell us how this unfolded. Suzanne. Jim Marie, I'm going to show you the restaurant at the center of the standoff. Take a look behind me. That's Seafood Junction. It remains closed right now after an employee believed to be an escaped inmate on the run was captured after a nearly 17 hour long standoff. This is video of Joshua Zimmerman being taken into custody this morning. The Mississippi inmate was wanted for attempted murder and armed robbery since June 14th. When he arrived in Chicago, still isn't clear. What is known is when U.S. Marshals converged on Seafood Junction here on the 2300 block of West Madison where he worked, Zimmerman climbed into the ceiling to barricade himself. CBS News Chicago obtained this video of Zimmerman shot this month inside the restaurant. A person who asked to remain anonymous thought the man in the video resembled Zimmerman after seeing these social media posts with his image. A different person who asked us not to use his name told us he comes to the strip mall often to get lunch. He had this question as to how Zimmerman could have gotten a job at Seafood Junction. So they support me. They should check everybody's background before you go to work. And uh, it's, not, it's not fair for people. Questions remain as to how Zimmerman was able to get to Chicago and also even get a job here. Those are things that law enforcement is going to be looking into right now. The U.S. Marshal Service investigators say that they developed information that led them to this restaurant and in turn Zimmerman's arrest. In on the west side, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS News Chicago. Suzanne, thank you.